Six Dogs That Could Defeat a Rottweiler Rottweilers are one of the most popular dog breeds in the United States, and for good reason. Their name is derived from the German word Rottweiler Metzgerhund, which means Rottweiler Butcher's Dogs, referring to their background as working dogs in Rottweil, Germany. Throughout history, they have served in a variety of essential roles, including police dog, guide dog, and search and rescue dog. But this giant dog breed is much more than just a hard worker. The Rottweiler may be a sweet friend that emanates devotion and affection for his family with positive reinforcement training and socialization. These powerful dogs have enormous heads, broad bodies, and heavy bones, standing 22 to 27 inches, 55 to 68 centimeters at the shoulder, and weighing 80 to 135 pounds, 36 to 61 kilograms. His medium-length coat is black and shiny, with rust patterns on his face, chest, and legs. However, even so solid, we know very well that no dog is invincible. So, let's find out which are six dogs that can defeat a Rottweiler. Before we start, let me preface this by saying that I do not agree of dogfighting of any kind. This is a purely informative video, at the end of which we will find out which breeds are stronger than a Rottweiler. So let's get started. Number 6. Carne Corso The Carne Corso is a large-boned and muscular working dog with a noble, confident disposition and a lineage that goes back to ancient Rome. Carne Corsos are powerful dogs that may seem intimidating to some. These fearless and vigilant dogs are not right for everyone. However, these gentle giants are often misunderstood and can actually make excellent companions. The Carne Corso beats the Rottweiler in every physical category. Among the Mastiffs, the Carne Corso has the strongest bite at 700 PSI, second to the Kangal, and is regarded as one of the strongest dog breeds. Therefore, if it came down to it, the Corso would without a doubt defeat a Rottweiler. However, this is neither encouraged or should it be condoned. Number 5. Caucasian of Chaka the Caucasian of Chaka and the Rottweiler are both huge, robust dog breeds that may be dominant. Nevertheless, deciding which breed is bigger and stronger may be influenced by a variety of factors like heredity, food, and individual characteristics. On average, the Caucasian of Chaka is considered to be larger and heavier than the Rottweiler, with an average weight of 110 to 200 pounds, 50 to 90 kilograms. These breeds were developed for different purposes, with the Caucasian of Chaka being bred to protect livestock and fight against predators, and the Rottweiler being created as a working dog to herd, protect, and pull carts. Both breeds have the potential to be powerful and strong in terms of strength and dominance, but this is dependent on variables like training, socialization, and individual temperament. In summary, while the Caucasian of Chaka is generally considered to be larger than the Rottweiler, most likely would dominate. Don't forget that this breed was bred to fight wild animals like bears to defend the herd. Number 4. Tibetan Mastiff The Tibetan Mastiff is a huge Chinese dog breed with a gigantic, towering build, flowing mane, and alert face. The breed is supposed to be as powerful and as vigilant as a lion. For thousands of years, Tibetan Mastiffs have served as formidable and intimidating estate guardians in Tibet. The Tibetan Mastiff retains its protective instincts, watching over its home and family with endless tenacity. Both the Tibetan Mastiff and the Rottweiler are enormous and strong breeds. If both dogs are in good shape, the larger dog will usually win. 
Rottweilers appear to have a smaller size range, with some Tibetan Mastiffs being larger than any Rottweiler. Even while they might be the same height, Tibetan Mastiffs are heavier than Rottweilers. Tibetan Mastiff also has thick fur, which is very useful in a battle against a Rottweiler or any dog, and any dog will find it difficult to injure a Tibetan Mastiff. However, this all depends on the individual, although a great advantage will be in favor of the Tibetan Mastiff due to its weight and fur. From my point of view, the Tibetan Mastiff wins. Number 3. German Shepherd The German Shepherd is constructed more athletically than the Rottweiler, has more endurance, more energy, and is the most common dog employed by police and military. Thus, it has to be stronger and win a battle against a Rottweiler. The Rottweiler is larger and has a stronger bite force, but in this circumstance, biting force is irrelevant because they both have an extremely powerful bite force and may inflict terrible injury to each other. German Shepherds are significantly quicker and more agile, allowing them to get better hits, bites, or whatever on the Rottweiler. German Shepherds are also significantly intelligent, allowing them to devise superior battle techniques, which is a big benefit for them. In my opinion, the German Shepherd is among the few breeds smaller than the Rottweiler, which could win. Of course, if they are equal in weight, the chances for the German Shepherd are higher. Number 2. Kangal Kangals are said to be a bigger and stronger breed than Rottweilers. Kangals are an Anatolian shepherd dog breed recognized for their power and endurance. They were initially raised to defend sheep herds and are noted for their bravery and tenacity. A Kangal with longer legs and stronger muscles is frequently described as the winner in a fight between these two ferocious dogs. Kangal easily wins the case in this comparison. In Turkey, they are known to strangle wolves that attack sheep flocks. They are powerful and furious. Therefore, they should not be called household pets. According to various sources, including National Geographic and the American Kennel Club, the Kangal has a bite force of around 743 PSI. This is among the strongest bite forces of any domestic dog breed. Number 1. Alibi The Alibi dog is one of the world's oldest canine breeds. It is a Central Asian dog that was originally employed to guard cattle and other property. They were able to accomplish so because of their strong personalities and bravery. While it is an uncommon breed outside of Asia, they are still utilized as a guard and defense dog in working environments. We can predict who will win a dogfight based on size, biting force, and attitude. Both the Alibi and the Rottweiler are huge and robust dog breeds with significant biting forces. The Alibi is noted for its protective and forceful nature, whereas the Rottweiler is known for its loyalty and courage. Given the size of an alibi, which ranges from 50 to 79 kilograms, 110 to 174 pounds, the chances in a battle favor the larger animal. Keep in mind that these fights are purely fictional. Here we are talking about animals that could defeat a Rottweiler. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Until next time, farewell.